Time now for an update from Fox Carolina News and Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rates certified most accurate. Good evening to you. I'm Shell Ramin with a look at your flash briefing. We have breaking news out of Pickens County. The coroner is responding to Twin Falls where someone fell from the waterfall. The call came in just before 1 o'clock this afternoon. Emergency management says the waterfall is located in a very remote area along Waterfalls Road and crews are still out assessing what went wrong. We are still waiting on the victim's identity at this hour. And we have new information this Sunday for you from DHEC. The agency is reporting 141 new coronavirus cases with eight more people dead this Sunday. We know two of the victims are upstate natives from Greenville and Spartanburg counties. That brings the total number of cases to 6,626 in the Palmetto State with more than 270 dead. And it was a perfect 10 out there today. We've seen a little hint of summer. Meteorologist Ben Dorenbach is standing by for us. So Ben, how is the start of our week going to look? Well, not too terribly different from what we experienced today. We'll have a couple of pop up showers and storms to contend with, but overall nothing really too serious. Today we tied our record high temperature at Asheville Regional Airport, hitting 85 degrees, tying the record set back on this day in 1965. We were at 84 at GSP, so mountains definitely more impressive heat than here in the upstate. I want to fast forward to uh, later on tonight to after midnight. We're monitoring a line of thunderstorms over Tennessee. That's likely going to move east, but more than likely, what's going to happen is the uh, mountains along the Tennessee North Carolina border will allow them to substantially weaken. But those along the Tennessee North Carolina line could get in on a stray shower or thunderstorm. Same with those in the mountains, but we're not expecting really in any impacts here in the upstate. Might start with a stray shower as well during the morning tomorrow. And then another few pop up showers are possible during the late afternoon and evening tomorrow. Better chances for rain and a few thunderstorms. That comes later Monday night into early Tuesday morning. We'll then get a break Tuesday during the midday and then another round of showers and thunderstorms is likely to move through Tuesday evening and might linger into Wednesday, but safe to bet, safe bet is that most of that should dry up by Wednesday. So looking at the forecast for tonight in the upstate, relatively mild, 62 for a low temperature, partly cloudy, maybe a shower by daybreak, but we're not anticipating much action here in the upstate. Mountains 57 degrees for you, isolated showers mainly along the Tennessee line, partly cloudy skies otherwise with light winds. And planning your Monday, overall low rain chances, pretty similar temperatures, maybe shave a few degrees off today. 76 degrees for your afternoon high in the up in the mountains, excuse me. 82 in the upstate. Just watch out for a late day shower or storm. Better chances Monday night to Tuesday morning and of course into Tuesday evening with a very, very isolated chance at a strong or severe thunderstorm, but we're not expecting anything organized to impact our area. We'll have continuing coverage tonight on the 10 o'clock news. You can also get the latest in the Fox Carolina news app and all of our social media platforms. Stay safe and have a good one.